Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today I'll be showing you how to freeze selected rows in your Excel workbook. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure you can do this yourself and this works the same for you. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and open up Excel if you haven't already. After opening up Excel guys, you want to go ahead and either create a new workbook or select the Excel file which you want to work with. I'm going to select this file right here. As you can see here guys, now we have a table right here with some columns and rows that, and we want to freeze some of them. So guys, let's say we want to freeze all the rows up under uh, over V3. So guys, how do you do that? Well, it's very easy. All you have to do guys is just go ahead and select the first row where you want to freeze it and then everything above it, above it will freeze. So guys, let's say we want to use freeze V3 and everything above, go ahead and select V3 and now guys, go into view right here in the upper right corner, click on view guys and now you will give, be given a couple of new options that you can use. You want to go ahead and find this option right here called freeze panes. So guys, go ahead and click on freeze panes right here and now guys, after freezing the panes, you can see if we scroll down a bit that these uh, two columns above V3 will stay frozen. So guys, basically all you have to do is select the column which you do not want, but you want everything above it to stay frozen. And then you just freeze that and it will stay frozen. After I'm freezing guys, you can see that no, nothing else is frozen. But guys, if you want to select only one specific row to stay frozen, you cannot do that because it will just not make sense for only one row to follow you while you scroll. But yeah guys, Excel hasn't um, brought that compatibility, you can only freeze something above one row. So guys, let's say we want to freeze everything from 3 to 3, then we select V4, go ahead and click on freeze. And now guys you can see v3 is going to select stay frozen so guys that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so yeah guys thank you for watching take care and bye